All I need is ten more minutes, ten more minutes with you Let me give it all one last shot, will I ever get through to you? Oh, am I wasting my time? Should I leave for the night? It's unclear at the moment Can you give me a sign? I'm here trying and trying I need ten more minutes with you So let me know if you gave up hope Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you gave up hope by now So let me know if you gave up hope Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you gave up hope I need ten more minutes, ten more minutes with you Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, hold on. It's definitely heating up here in Dubai. I told you a heat wave was coming and you can see the camera is not coping too well. <laughs> I think we should take this inside. That's a bit better. It is definitely humid outside, but it's lovely and cool inside. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to this video, and welcome to just under five weeks out. Checked in this morning and I am 5.7 pounds down in total since last week's check-in. And that is with a midweek refeed. So you guys would have seen on a previous video that I had a midweek refeed. I then checked in the next day. I was down almost another pound after the refeed. I had that epic leg day. The morning afterwards, I was a pound up which we kind of anticipated due to inflammation. That leg day was absolutely brutal. But this morning, I'm down another pound and a half. <sighs> Things are progressing quite quickly. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take you through a whole weekend vlog. I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing, what I'm eating, what the updates are with regards to prep at This Far Out. And this morning, you would have seen me put on a whole load of rice. I'm getting a little mini refeed today. So my carbs are up by about 60 grams today. So we're gonna use that as a bit of an indication to see how my body responds tomorrow. If my weight is down again, I might get some more. If it stays the same, then we're gonna push on. It's just gone eight o'clock, my normal routine. I'm gonna sit on the couch, I'm gonna do some work. I'll pick you guys back up when I head to the gym. It's just gone half past nine and I've been checking in my girls who have checked in nice and early in the UK. And I've got my prep girls, this is Jodie, who is 15 weeks out, looking absolutely awesome for 15 weeks out. And I've got Lisa here in Ireland, who is prepping for a photo shoot in five weeks time. And I absolutely love working with these girls. All of my clients check in via my website on a Saturday, but if they are a prep client, they get an immediate response from me on a Saturday. And all my lifestyle clients get response on a Sunday. So I have been responding to those that have checked in nice and early now. I will do the rest of the responses when I come back from the gym, but I now need to go and get my pre-workout meal because I'm about to go and hit my glutes and delt session, which is the first time I've hit this session since we landed back from Portugal. So you would have seen this morning I had my normal breakfast. This is my pre-workout meal as normal, 40 grams of the milk chocolate cream of rice, two squares of dark chocolate melted inside, 20 grams of whey, and my small refeed today is my rice has increased. So instead of 45 grams of uncooked weight in each of my meals, Darren has upped it to 80 grams in each of my meals. And when I cook this up, it now equates to 500 grams of cooked rice. So that's gonna be a treat a bit later. And somebody else is having a nice little treat, aren't you? Should we show them? Should we show them your bone? Come on, come on. What's this? What's this? He loves it. You love it, don't you? Don't you? We found how to keep him occupied. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. It's almost bigger than you. It just sits and licks it all day. Oh. 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 
Guys, I just got to the gym and I've just realised I've not packed my headphones, but it's all good. I've got a new training plan to follow today, so I'm just going to get my head in the game. Hopefully I've packed my other AirPods. They're not the sound cancelling ones, they're the, like the other older kind of crappy ones. But let's see. I'm really excited to get this session done. It's glutes, it's delts. There are a few exercises in there that I've not done before this entire prep, like the vertical leg press, adductors. I've not done abductors before. I do adduction, like the inner thigh, but I haven't done the outer ones before. I've got my shoulder press in there that I want to hit. And yeah, I think I'm just going to get my head in the game. I'm going to execute everything with the best possible form, log these lifts as a kind of baseline for progressing over the next few weeks. And if I can, I'll pick up my camera and I'll film a couple of exercises. But I've had my pre-workout. I am ready to go. And we are back home from that workout and that was insane. I absolutely loved that session. Such a good workout. I loved the selection of exercises and I was really happy to log everything and feel like I can make good progress with each of those. And the best thing about getting that session done on a Saturday is that I know I've done absolutely everything. The week is done. There's no better feeling than knowing you've hit all your meals, you've smashed your cardio, your training was epic, you've checked in, you're making progress. There's nothing left for me to do but relax now, get on with my work, rest day tomorrow and just see what my body does after this little refeed and allow my coach to make those adjustments and to assess my progress ongoing and that's what it's all about like I'm a coach myself and I know the process and I know the science behind everything but there's no way I am managing my own prep and I'm so incredibly grateful that my husband does all of that for me like i've said it before and i say it again but he is an amazing man and he supports my journey and the goals that i have wholeheartedly and there's no way i would have made the amount of progress that i've made without his support and his guidance and i've actually ordered him a present which should be delivered tomorrow which I can't wait to give to him. He always makes this joke like, you don't pay me for coaching. And I'm like, I pay you with love. But I've actually ordered a present to say thank you for everything he's done so far. So hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow. I've had my post-workout meal. That was inhaled literally as soon as I got in. I now need to go and plow on with the rest of my prep girl check-ins and I'll pick you guys back up for my next meal. Before my next meal, I thought I would show you guys a little update. This is the progress I've made with the podcast studio. This is the table that is adjustable in terms of height. And you can see I've got a podcast mic here, but I'm not quite sure how to put it all together. So I think I might ask Hubby to do that for me. But I really, really love these chairs. They look so comfy. And once I've got the lighting delivered, I will show you the full effect afterwards. Should we go and get mommy's next meal? Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to feel hungry now. It's the first time on prep. Milo's like, I'm always hungry, mummy. Are you always hungry? Are you always hungry? Just look at that meal. 100 grams of chicken, all my favorite green veg in the air fryer, and 250 grams of white rice. All I need to do is add some pink salt, my favorite locale sauces, and I'm going to inhale this. Honestly, I'm really hungry. No lie. I just finished that in about three minutes and I could eat it again. I'm really hungry. <laughs> so this next meal with 250 grams of rice is going to be bloody epic. It's just coming up to 4 p.m. now and I've got two calls, one with a new potential client, an onboarding call, and then the other one at 5 p.m. is with my prep girls. We have like a team chat every week. So I'm going to jump on those calls and then I've got my 20 minutes of cardio left to do. 
and then I need to shower, get my next meal in, and then we're heading out tonight. Last session ticked off for the day. Cardio is done. Now time to feed this little monster. Although he thinks he's getting something from daddy. Nope. And now for my other refeed meal. So the other half of that rice, 250 grams of white jasmine rice, 100 grams of salmon, my favorite green veggies, will complete my little mini refeed for today. And then all prepped and ready to go for when we leave is my final meal, which is my normal mug cake. I'm just literally getting ready to go out and <sighs> that's just crazy. That's crazy. I'm all freshly showered. I've popped a little bit of concealer and blusher on and a little bit of lip balm and my hair is all clean and I've left it curly, just wearing a top, a denim skirt and my Fendi boots. You can probably see it a little bit better here, but I got these boots from Darren for Christmas and I hardly ever wear them. So I thought rather than just wear joggers and a t-shirt to the cinema, which is where we are going and what I always wear, I thought I'd make a bit of an effort. We're going to go and watch A Quiet Place 2, the sequel. We saw it was out in the cinema and we actually watched number one last night. So we're gonna go and watch the second one. I'm gonna take my last meal with me, order a large Diet Coke and go and chill. Rest day, cardio done. 60 minutes on the ARC trainer at incline eight, resistance 40, and according to my Apple Watch, I burnt nearly 500 calories. But do not use your watch or the cardio machine as an accurate measure of calories burnt. Use it as a way of tracking your level of effort. So I know that I've put in the same amount of effort and I'm gonna to aim to do that every single rest day for 60 minutes. I've also just done 20 minutes of stretching on my mat. I'm now gonna head outside and do five minutes of meditation before I check in with hubby and coach and see how my body responded to that very small bee feed yesterday. So let me know if you gave up hope. Do I leave you alone or I leave you alone? So let me know if you gave up hope by now. All checked in and I am down to my lowest weight of prep, 141.2 pounds, which is crazy to think that I had a small refeed and I've dropped weight again. So I've checked in with coach and hubby. My food is staying the same for rest day apart from one meal. Meal number five, which is normally my salmon and rice meal, is being replaced with something rather special but I'm gonna leave that as a surprise for you guys later on in the vlog. It is just coming up to eight o'clock. You guys know my routine by now. It is Sunday. I'm going to plow through check-ins and I'll pick you guys back up when I get my Starbucks coffee and my next meal. Very quickly, before I sit on the couch with my laptop, I thought I would show you what I'm currently looking like. I have just had my normal breakfast on a rest day, which is my eggs and my oats, but this is what I'm currently looking like. And the weird thing about when you get lean is that yes, you get like crazy veins that come through. Like, what is that? <laughs> but as you get leaner, your skin gets very loose, which is why we're having refeeds to try and fill the glycogen in my muscles. I never really come on and show my abs. Fun fact, I never train abs, but they are there. And if I tense them, you can see they're there. Whoa, that's a little bit crazy. But for my category, I don't have to flex them on stage. I just need to look very lean and my waist needs to look very small so that I have that X frame. And obviously to the side, when I have that twist, you want that tiny waist 
there. So you see all of this here? This needs to come off, this needs to fill up so that that twist there looks super tight. And this comes in. Okay. I'm just preparing my next meal, which is one of my standard meals on my rest day, and I absolutely love it. So the last rest day when I had a refeed and he changed this to a cream of rice, I was quite upset because I love these rice cake thins. They are the salt and balsamic vinegar rice cake thins. And I have four of them with 20 grams of almond butter. And then I drizzle some of this low calorie sugar-free syrup on top. I make a little sandwich. And then I've got 20 grams of whey, which I blend up and my coffee just arrived, so I'm really, really happy to tuck into this. Meanwhile, we got some special food for the little pup. Is this to stop him pooping so much? I'm doing runny poos. <laughs> He does have a lot of runny poos. What's this giant sack? Oh, for sensitive puppy. Yeah. He does runny poos because he eats his own shit. I'm pretty sure that's why. Whereas we don't have any issues with you, do we, Stitch? Nope. You are chilled. Persian cats are the most chilled cats ever. What's this? It's for daddy. Why don't I give you something? Why not? <laughs> you can't say that on camera. Milo, are you going to help? What's this for? It's just a thank you. For what? For prepping me. <laughs> you always say I never pay you for coaching, so I thought I'd get you a present just to say thank you. I hope you like it. <laughs> you kept saying you wanted a new one. The other one was broken and you haven't used it in forever. So now we can be watch buddies. Are you crying? <laughs> Do you want to turn around? <laughs> Everyone wants to just look at your back. Okay. It's, it's a pretty big back. I know. The anticipation is real. What is it, Milo? It's not for you. Daddy's being so slow. Do you like it? I love it, thank you. There we go. Next up, one of my favorite meals, steak. 100 grams of steak, 100 grams of potato, broccoli, air fried, yum. Girl eats carbs, girl gets veiny. And I'm definitely excited with the level of condition that we're bringing now, but the bit that's necessary that people don't show you is this. Like this saggy skin here, this is needed. If you want to get lean, you have to get saggy. <laughs> like look, you pull the skin and it just sits there. That's normal. It's not pretty, but it's normal. Just in the office now after having two awesome calls with two of my business clients and what I loved about these two calls is that I actually was coaching them on YouTube, like showing them how to use Final Cut Pro, showing them how to edit, how to cut their clips, um, how to create thumbnails, like all the stuff that I kind of taught myself how to do, I've been helping them do. And it's really, really exciting. Like I'm buzzing for their channels because I think they're gonna do really well. Both of them are bikini athletes. One of them is an amateur and one of them is a pro and I'm really excited to see how their channels grow in the next few weeks. But it's just coming up to 4 p.m. now and I need to go and get my next meal, which is a pretty lame ass meal because it's just chicken and veg, which is what I normally have on my rest day. So I'm gonna go and get that now. And then I have one more call later before my next very exciting meal. Well, this is a nice little scene. Did we have a nice nap? Uh-oh, uh-oh, here he comes. Here he comes. What are you watching, babe? Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> You're about five years too late.
Yes, I am chomping on a cucumber. I'm definitely feeling hungry now. I think I've hit that low weigh in where between meals I'm like, when's the next one coming? And as I mentioned, nothing exciting. 100 grams of chicken, some broccoli, and yes, I've just thrown a whole load of cucumber on there as well, and some pink salt, some sriracha, and I think I might add actually another sauce. This sauce from Calofit, the curry mango sauce, is freaking bomb. And actually, all of the Calofit sauces are really, really nice. So I'm definitely going to have some of this on here. I'm going to eat this up. And then I think I've got a date with the couch and we're going to have a nap. Are we going to take a nap, Milo? Oh, hello. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. I can't even tell you how happy I am to be having this. And I've been so hungry all day. <sighs> right, first bite. Can you tell she likes sushi? <laughs> I don't know who was more excited, Milo for his dinner or you for your sushi. Good? So good. <laughs> what do you have? I've got the potato crunch one, which is um, crab sticks, avocado, Take crunch. This one is the tempura one, which is the best one with the sweet chicken until last. And I don't even remember which one this one is. But it looks nice. I think this one's salmon and crab sticks. Oh my god. Mm. You gotta put the wasabi in the soya. Oh yeah. Amateur. <sighs> Shut up you. Meanwhile, I get plain chicken next. You had sushi in the cinema last night. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sit and watch you eat that. Was you didn't know. I was, had the courtesy of doing it in the dark, so you didn't have to see it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I kind of shared on my blog already, Darren, the fact that I'm lean and I've got this saggy skin. Talk to the people while I eat. Okay, so <clears throat> basically... Um, Try not to say okay so, so often. Save me editing so much. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Try and just kind of keep it short. Sure thing. <laughs> um, well. Um, so. <laughs> See, now, um, got, now all I'm thinking is not say okay. So, there's another so. one. <laughs> post, I hope the cameras do as well. Post show, obviously, Becky was in stage condition. You know, and we have had a further seven weeks now, five weeks to the next show. Um, condition has just been getting better. Uh, we we upped her food initially straight away post show. I think you're on about 2,200 on training days. Um, and what we've seen is her body has just reacted like a furnace to that. It's just soaking it up. And you've got this sort of snowball effect of she's full energetic, training's really good, you know, still pushing heav heavier weights weekly. And ultimately that's, gonna, that's leading to her body burning more. So she's in this position at the moment where her body is, you know, just burning off fat and she's getting leaner on more food. Uh, what latest weigh in 141.2. Two. So it's pretty much your stage weight from the last show now yeah. on a more lot fat. more food. Great. It's great to see the weight dropping, but what we don't want is it dropping too quickly and too drastically. Like if she's already on 141 now. At, and the rate she's dropping with five more weeks to go, you've got to realize that dropping six, seven pounds in a week isn't going to be all body fat. You know, we don't want to be eating into muscle tissue. So we've got to be very careful that, so now we're, we're looking at Becky daily, we're checking her weight daily, and we're just reacting to the plan every day. So we're not setting a plan in stone at the start of the week and going, yeah, let's check in against Saturday because that could be too late. You know, in a week at this, the weight way she's going at the moment, she could got, drop six, seven pounds. So what we're doing is just implementing a little bit of food here and there. And what I was saying to Becky last night was, you know, it's not a huge amount of food. Yes, so we just put an extra 80 grams of carbs and it was enough to do the job. 60, I think it was 60. 60 grams of carbs. And today, you know, we just put implementing a rest day, a little extra fats and carbs through sushi. How much and do you think this is, Kim? Probably another 80, 90 grams of carbs. 20 to 30 grams of fat. It's like 24 pieces of sushi. Yeah. So again, it's nothing drastic. And what people need to take away from this is a refeed doesn't need to be massive. 
what so many people tend to do is they get a free meal or a refeed or the coach tells them to have a burger and fries. That burger and fries turns into two burgers, two fries or a loaded fries and some cookies and all of a sudden that's a couple of thousand calories which is way too much. All we need is a little bit extra today just to slow down the rate of drop, replenish glycogen stores and make sure she's ready to go, staying nice and full and she can train hard for the remainder of the week. I need more soy sauce. And I'm back. Pit stop for more soy. Anyone else notice how fast that sushi has disappeared? <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be gone so quick. I'm gonna be so sad. So next stop is pro card and then she's gonna go for a pro eating challenge. Yes. <laughs> you, so many people have started watching my channel because my 20K. You guys know I can eat. She can definitely eat, that's for sure. Um, Are you watching this dog? Meanwhile, good boy. Nice tournament. Yeah, so we'll see tomorrow um, what her weight will do, how she's looking tomorrow morning. Obviously today being a rest day is perfect because this food, you know, she's not doing too much. So it should sit and, and hold rather than, it's often a good idea. I, this is a question I get asked all the time from clients is I often refeed on rest days. And like, oh, should I not be training to have more food? And you gotta got remember the whole purpose of a refeed is to replenish glycogen stores, not to go and eat it and then go train harder or, and burn it all off and you know, you've got done nothing with it. Um, so, so it doesn't make a difference when you do it. Uh, a rest day is a really good time to do, to do a refeed, especially at this point in a prep where the point is to just replenish give her some ref refuel and uh, fill glycogen stores so that food will just all be stored and because she's very little activity today other than her cardio this morning and we'll see you tomorrow and, and we're done done we are done and i'm really sad because i can probably eat that whatever i am it's so good so all i've got left to eat is my mug cake my normal mug cake right i'm still having that perfect and then we are going to chill tonight and then we will check in tomorrow and find out what the story is but i am most definitely going to close this video off here so that i can quickly edit it upload it for you guys and i will most definitely keep you updated in the next video but if you're not already following me on instagram head on over there you'll get more updates on my stories on my page but thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next video <sighs> sushi